In chapter 9, we're going to talk about how to do hypothesis testing if we have two samples instead of just one. Okay, so the whole idea of whether we reject or um, accept or support, you know, things like that, um, still um, depend on a p-value, which we'll get from the calculator. Um, so really just which calculator function we're using will change. Okay, so the one thing to note is that the two samples have to come from two populations that are not related to each other. So for example, let's say we were talking about um, men versus women's pulse rates. We wouldn't want pairs of husbands and wives. We wouldn't want pairs that somehow were connected to each other. So we want independent samples. Okay, so our first claim is that insecticide-treated bed nets reduce malaria among infants. So here in, an, in a country where malaria is an issue, um, we're talking about putting bed nets over, um, you know, infants' beds um, to help hopefully prevent malaria. So we've got two different populations. We've got the infants who sleep under bed nets. And we've got infants who do not sleep under bed nets. So it's not that they're not sleeping, it's that they don't have the bed nets. Okay, and we're going to test this with a 1% significance level. So we'll just remember that our alpha will be 0 0.01. Now, you won't really need this when you're doing it on the calculator, but just in case you look in the book or you see somewhere else, um, I want you to know that the, sim the symbols that are used. So now that we have two different samples and um, populations that we're looking at, we use a little one by one of them and a little two by each of the symbols for the other one. So when we're talking about populations proportion, that's P1. And population two proportions is P2. Um, for size of sample, we always use N. So for sample 1, we use N1. And for sample 2, we use N2. And then successes, we always use X. So from sample 1, we would have X1. And from sample 2, we'd have X2. Okay, now to get the sample proportion, which we call P hat, so it would be P hat 1. For sample 1, we would take X1 divided by N1. And for sample 2, we take p hat 2, which would be x2 over n2. Now, q hat 1 and q hat 2 are just going to be the um, complements of p hat 1 and p hat 2. So q hat 1 would be 1 minus p hat 1, and q hat 2 would be 1 minus p hat 2. Okay, and then um, in some places you'll see what's called the pooled proportion, and that, this is the proportion of everyone together, and this is called P bar, and to get that you take X1 plus X2 divided by N1 plus N2. Okay, so the complement would be Q bar, and that would just be 1 minus P bar. So just some sam um, symbols you might see if you're looking in the book or somewhere else. Okay, now our hypothesis, remember we were talking um, population one would be the infants who sleep under the bed nets, and we're saying that it reduces malaria. So we would assume that the, po the proportion of infants who sleep under bed nets who get malaria is less than those who do not sleep under bed nets. Okay, so here um, we'll leave that like this, P1 is less than P2, and for our null hypothesis, always has an equal sign, just like we did last chapter. So P1 equals P2. Okay, and just like hypothesis testing in chapter 8, we always assume that the null hypothesis is true, that there's no difference. Okay, so here's our study results. Um, 15 out of 343 infants with bed nets develop malaria. So that 15 is our X1, and the 343 is our N1 and 27 out of 294 infants without bed nets develop malaria. So that's our X2 and our N2. Okay, so we want to know, are these the same or is there a significance difference? So on your calculator, you're going to, um, just like you've been doing for the other hypothesis test, you're going to hit the stat button and go over to tests.
Okay, and then you'll choose number six, which is two prop Z test. And for this problem, we're going to um, enter the following information. So remember, X1 was 15, N1 was 343, X2 was 27, and N2 is 294. And remember, H, our alternate hypothesis was that P1 is less than P2. So we're going to choose that less than. Okay, so now you have to choose calculate, and again, it's going to give you a Z value and a P value. So the Z value gives you is negative 2.44, and the p-value is 0 0.0074. Now remember our alpha, what we chose here is 0.01. So here our p is less than our alpha, and remember if p is less than alpha, we always reject the null hypothesis. Now since we reject the null hypothesis, we support the alternate hypothesis, which was our claim. So um, we would support, we support the claim that insecticide-treated bed nets reduce malaria. Okay, we've got another problem here. So it says, at a recent World Series game, the Houston Astros were ordered to keep their stadium roof open. Um, Houston claimed that the opening the roof would cause them to lose significant home field advantage because of less um, fan noise effect. Okay, so we want to know, does Houston have a valid complaint? And it says test with a significance level of 5%. So our alpha is going to be 0 0.05. Okay, so we need to think about what our two populations here. Here we're talking about games for the Houston Astros. And population one will say that our, they're the games with the roof open. And we'll call population two the games they play with the roof closed. Now we want to talk about the percentage of winning, and we're saying that they win um, less with the um, roof open. So their proportion of winning, we'd say P1 is less than P2 here. Okay. Um, and so our null is always P1 equals P2. So we're told that um, they won 36 out of 53 games with the roof closed. Now, roof closed was population 2, so we'll put those in X2 and N2. 36 out of 53 in our calculator. And they won 15 out of 26 with the roof open. So again, you're going to choose um, go stat over to tests and um, two prop Z test. And we have said that P1 is less than P2. Now the Z value it gives us is negative 0.89 and the P value it gives us is 0.186. Now remember we said let alpha be 0.05 so our P is bigger than alpha which means we do not reject the null hypothesis and when we do not reject the null hypothesis we can't support the alternate. So our final conclusion would be we cannot support or do not support to claim that the Houston Astros win more games when their roof is closed.